Welcome to my basement. Uh, living in Europe during the time of the Commodore 64 and later the C128, which was my daily driver as a kid, the media of choice was of course tape. I don't think I saw a floppy even once during this period. It was uh, not until the PC uh, started to get common that I discovered this uh, format uh, and it was the three and a half inch uh, floppy I was introduced to. So the games I've collected and recollected from my Commodore 128 are obviously all tape games. But uh, how can you back up these games? Well, that's what we're going to look at in this episode. But first, uh, many of you are now probably screaming, why, why? I'm of course aware that there are many Commodore games already available online. But the majority of these backed up games are cracked disk versions, which makes sense as they load faster and have removed the hassle of the copyright protection. But this also means that there are still original tape versions I can't find and which I have to back up myself. And if for no other reason, I like to back up the stuff I own myself. I have uh, upgraded the tape experience slightly however and I now use an SD card solution for loading my tapes on my C128. This unit is called a Tapuino. As the name suggests it's powered by the um, Arduino that emulates the tape drive perfectly. No more azimuth head alignment to make the games load. If you don't know what that is uh, and what a hassle it was then you're just too young I guess. I'm still trying to forget. Anyways, let's have a look at what you need. It's uh, not uh, overly complex. Uh, I of course use my Commodore uh, 1530 um, cassette deck. Uh, and then I have bought this uh, USB adapter, which I can hook directly up to my PC. I will uh, leave link in the video description. Uh, for this USB adapter. In addition, you will need uh, three pieces of software, uh, Audacity to record audio from the cassette deck. Uh, then you need to use AudioTap to convert the WAV files to a tap file. And then finally you use FinalTap. Uh, that is a program that cleans up the tap files produced by AudioTap. So uh, let's get started. The first thing you have to do is to plug in the adapter and configure Windows to recognize it. This is well documented on the project wiki page and I leave links in the video description to the information you need regarding the USB adapter. For my purpose I only need to set up the read part, as I'm not going to record or write back to tape at this time. Once you have configured the adapter you will need to download the other software, Audacity, AudioTap and FinalTap. Let's uh, pop a cassette in. recorded and exported as a WAV file, we will use AudioTap to generate a TAP or C64 tape file next. Then we use FinalTap to clean it up. Just drag the file created by AudioTap over FinalTap and drop it. FinalTap processes the file. Don't look too hard at the fail messages, because there will be some, but concentrate on a recognized percentage in the bottom left corner instead. 99% is very good and indicates that the game has been backed up correctly and that it will work. 
to test it out we now load our newly created backup in Vice. If you like content like this, please be sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time.